nutrition advocates across the country hope pandemic nutrition waivers will be extended into the next school year. The waivers allowed for free lunch and breakfast for all students, and they also relaxed nutrition regulations. In a Project Education report, Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz looks at the possibility of keeping things in place for the next school year. Ashwaubenon School District families were able to recently pick up free meals for students while on spring break. The offering was made possible through federal nutrition waivers put in place at the beginning of the pandemic. It removed a lot of our red tape so that we could more easily feed the kids. When schools weren't in session, we were able to do um, more bulk food pickup. The students weren't required to eat on site. Um, they waived some of the nutrition requirements because of all of the supply chain issues and we were just able to get the food to kids any way we could. Caitlin Tariainen is the child nutrition coordinator for Ashwaubenon Schools. She went to Washington, D.C. a few weeks ago to lobby for the waivers to be extended. We did that because we have noticed a huge increase in participation in our meal programs, and we noticed that we are missing roughly 25% of our students when the meals aren't free to everyone. When she was in D.C., Tariainen was with hundreds of other nutrition advocates when they found out Funding wasn't included for the waivers in a large spending package. It means the waivers are set to expire June 30th. You could feel the room just drop. I think everyone kind of went through a grieving period for those students that weren't able to get access to healthy food after these waivers end. There is still hope there could be an extension. Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin is a co-sponsor of bipartisan legislation recently introduced that would keep the pandemic rules in place through September 30th of next year. While we uh, are turning the corner with this pandemic, uh, we still have challenges that families are facing uh, in terms of making ends meet and putting food on the table. And this is just a key uh, uh, element to uh, making sure that our schools and, and uh, children across Wisconsin have access to um, uh, adequate nutrition. Republicans have set an extent extension would cost more than $11 billion. Now that uh, we're emerging from the pandemic, I think we need to go back to the pandemic, uh, the pre-pandemic status quo, which is kids go to school in person and we have programs for reduced and free lunch for kids that need them. Republican Congressman Mike Gallagher says he'd be willing to look at extending some aspects of the pandemic regulations. He got away from some of these requirements where you had to provide three different kinds of vegetables per, per week. There might be a compromise where we keep some of the, 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 the regulatory relief in place to make it easier to get food to kids, even as we don't continue this program indefinitely. If the waivers are not extended, the U.S. Department of Agriculture has predicted average reimbursement for a school meal will fall from $4.56 to $2.91. That would come amid supply chain issues and inflation, perhaps forcing schools to choose between serving lower quality food and taking money from their district's general fund. But financially, it puts our food service program under stress because the cost of meals and, and the shortages of food become a challenge to try and predict how much we're going to serve and to have it have, have ready what kids want and keep them well fed with healthy meals. School officials warned there could be academic consequences as well. It's hard to tell with attendance and test scores at this time because of everything that's happened over the pandemic, but we have had a number of teachers reach out and talk about the behavioral impacts of the students in class. They say that they're ready to learn. Um, they're happier in school, and they're just doing so much better overall. If the school lunch programs return to pre-pandemic standards, eligibility for free or reduced meals would depend on household size and income. In Ashwaubenon, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News.